G'day everyone, Matt Elder Family Bricks here, and in this video we're going to go through the top 5 LEGO mocks of the week which I've found. One of the great things with LEGO is that you can make anything out of it, so here's some things which I've found where people have made anything out of it. And we're looking to do this on a weekly basis, so we can shine a light on some great mocks and different things that people have been doing. So if you want to see more of these videos, be sure to share, like and subscribe. And just while I'm at it, I'll put in a shameless plug for the BrickLink store that my kids have set up to make a little bit of extra money. And you can find it here on BrickLink. It's the family brick shop and it helps the kids be a little bit entrepreneurial and make a little bit of extra pocket money. So let's get into the mocks for this week. Coming in at number five is 80s Nostalgia with the A-Team van. This is all done out of Technic and it looks like they've done a really, really good job with this. The only thing I probably would just say a little bit is the proportions just feel a little bit off. The back just seems a little bit too long, but the whole thing is motorized. And down the bottom, they've got a little video which goes through and shows you some of the features. Um, it fully is able to drive and steer, side door opens, closes itself up as well, passenger door opens also is able to close and then the rear doors also open so maybe they sort of have to make some compromises to get all those features to work. Coming in at number four is this Iron Man one where they've taken two of these Iron Man but they're available for sale and one of the eternal ones and combined them into this much better looking Iron Man version. This retail one here I don't know what it is about Iron Man but they always seem to be messing them up. So it's great that you've got this one here and it looks like it's really well done, great level of articulation and something I'm actually really looking at building. Just got to try to get hold of this external set which can be a little bit tricky. Now if you can't get a hold of that eternal set there is another one which has been done which combines just two of the sets and it gives a pretty good result as well. And the proportions just feel much better like that head on the pack it actually just feels too big for the body so this starts to feel a bit better. So it always surprises me that fans can somewhat come up with better designs than what the official LEGO team can. Coming in at number three is this new style diorama where they've gone through and they've done all nine original Star Wars films. So here I've jumped over the BrickSafe page because it's got all nine films in chronological order of in-universe storytelling. So starting off with episode one, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan having their fight there. Episode two with Obi-Wan and Jango Fett on the Kamino landing platform. And then probably one of the favorites is definitely episode three. It's over Anakin, Eye of the High Ground. This is just screaming out for some sort of animation and some fun there, but that's really cool. Episode four, they've then got really, really well done with the lights and gives you a bit of that Van Gogh art ideas theme that they've got in terms of the way that they've done that. And that's just really clever. Heading over to The Empire Strikes Back, which is probably one of my favorite films out of it. And I just don't feel that this has been done as well as what it could. For mine, that actual scene had a lot of red and blue in it. And they've gone for this yellow and it just doesn't quite work. And the design of it was kind of iconic in the way that they had the steps and everything. So I appreciate it for what it is, but it could have been much better. Heading over to Battle of Endor, and it is what it is. And then we head on over to the last three films, which I largely try to ignore in any event. For The Last Jedi, I get why they've chosen this, but it does seem just a little bit pedestrian. And then for The Rise of Skywalker, I like the way that they've done this detail here with the lightsaber. I just wish there was another angle where you could see it a little bit better. And for number two this week, might be a little bit of a surprise going for a Taylor Swift one. Actually, it's a combination of all these sorts of art sets. Some people have been doing some really good ideas where we are taking the Batman one, take two of those, put them together, and you can get Taylor Swift. Somebody else has gone through and taken the Elvis Presley one and got the Michael Jordan out of it, which I think is a really good idea. You could just imagine trying to get the licensing rights to that could be quite challenging. But apparently within that same one, you can also get Kobe Bryant. So I think that's certainly opening up the potential for lots of interesting ones to be done in the future. Taking the Elvis one, you can get the Robert Downey Jr. Somebody else has taken the Elvis one and gotten Leo Messi, the football player. And another really cool one is taking the Jim Lee Batman one and being able to do the three Jokers of Heath Ledger, Jack Nicholson and Wacken Phoenix. So I'm really liking the way that people are taking these sets just out of the packet and being able to do lots of other different celebrities, which may or may not ever come to fruition due to licensing and likenesses reasons. And the number one mock for this week is this Joker bust. It's by a guy called Zito Vince. And he's done a lot of other cool ones. I've been following this person for a while. I've previously done their Iron Man helmet one, which was really good. And you can check around the video for a link to that one. Again, it was another one where they did an Iron Man and they couldn't quite get it right. His version of the Iron Man was done about four or five years before the official release. So why they couldn't get it right, I just don't know. And you can check out some of his other work on Flickr. And he did an Asterix and Obelix one for Lego Ideas, which I believe got 10,000 votes, but then didn't make a three review phase. So just scrolling through, you can see he's done some sort of Roman Centurions. Um, and then you've got a bit of a lineup of some of the ones that he's done. Again, that's that Iron Man one, the Asterix and Obelix. I think that's one of the characters out of The Simpsons. And if you go looking through the rest of the guy's page, you can see that he's really, really talented. To the point that even his Joker one had previously been ripped off by Lepin, which is a fake Chinese one, and he called them out there. 
So that's it for the first version of Mock of the Week. Let us know in the comments down below if you liked it, what you'd like to see, and also been thinking that if there's any mocks that you've done yourself, feel free to put the comments down below. And in future videos, we might do like an honorable mention sort of thing of people who watch the channel. Don't forget about the Family Brick Shop, which is available on BrickLink if you need to get any pieces for your mocks. Once I figure out how to do it, I'll probably set up like a discount code. But in the meantime, if you want to drop us a message through BrickLink itself, we can try to work something out. Check out these other videos that you might be interested in. That's it from us here at Family Bricks, and we'll see you in the next one.